Some say the only thing stronger than fear is hope. And when you have hope in the darkest of times, you can get through any obstacle life throws at you. Well, that's what one Mayo Clinic patient says she's doing. She's overcoming the odds. Here's ABC6 News anchor Devin Martin. Kate is a strong woman, and her story is so inspiring. She's a breast cancer survivor and came here to Mayo Clinic earlier this year for an appointment. She parked in the Damon ramp, and that is where she found a message of hope that changed her life forever. It was a normal day for Kate Madonna Hines, a Mayo Clinic patient going to a medical appointment. And when she saw this message, her life was never the same. It reads, I love you. You got this. Words hold incredible power. I think that the person who took their finger and wrote on the glass in the parking garage had no idea who I was or what I was coming to Mayo for. Kate was diagnosed with breast cancer in July of 2021. They caught it early and now she's cancer free, but it was a long road to get to this point. What is your message for people this month? I think it's to remember that cancer does not make you different. I was terrified of having breast cancer because I thought it made me less. And that wasn't my first cancer. I had had cancer multiple other times, but for some reason that was the cancer that took me down. But Kate wasn't only battling breast cancer. She was in an abusive relationship. She told the Mayo Clinic staff member and they helped her in more ways than one. And I was able to leave because of the grace of a message on a wall, which gave me enough courage to speak out about what was happening in my breast cancer appointment. She asked me a question and it was almost like, oh, you're here alone today, how are you doing? And I just started crying. And um, I was crying because I was in grief. Um, yeah, I was sick of being screamed at and yelled at, and uh, among other things. And she said, are you safe? And I said, don't know. And sometimes that question for domestic violence survivors and victims is one of the most powerful questions you can ask. Kate overcame so much ever since she left that relationship, and now she wants to help others. I'm gonna spend the rest of my life doing messages in action and in words to help other women, men, and non-gendered people in a situation like I was. Kate is now living a life of purpose, and she's going to continue to help other people when they need it most, no matter what. In Rochester, Devin Martin, ABC6 News.